Houston Healthcare also reporting a big drop in the number of COVID-19 hospitalizations at both Houston Medical and Perry Hospital. Brianna Richardson takes a closer look tonight at those numbers and some other recent changes. Yeah, back in August, Houston Healthcare had more than 100 COVID-19 patients. As of Tuesday, they have less than 20. At both Houston Medical and Perry Hospital, COVID-19 patients are on a downward trend. Tuesday's numbers show 14 people are hospitalized with coronavirus, seven of them in ICU and four on ventilators. We're still busy with other patients, so it seems like that, you know, patients that were sick and maybe not coming to the hospital because of the COVID outbreak have now gotten into the hospital because of their health problems. So we are still seeing a, a fairly large census, but it's not all COVID right now. Chief Medical Officer Dan Stewart says they have resumed elective surgeries, and as of last week, they're allowing more visitors inside. Larry Seal drove from Gainesville, Florida to see his brother. So I'm counted as number two for the day, so unfortunately, other visitors can't come and see him. He looks forward to when visitation returns to normal. Uh, when you visit a family member, you know, you can certainly encourage them to get healthy and, you know, try to be there to support them and you know, do the little things for them actually that could help relieve the nurses. Stewart hopes Houston County can reach herd immunity soon to prevent a fifth wave. Of course, the fourth wave really smashed us right in the face. So I'm, I'm fully anticipating that uh, we are going to see another wave. Uh, this, this virus seems to run in cycles. At least uh, it seems like right now about every six months. Stewart says Houston County's vaccination rate has gone up, which is helpful. Around 40 percent of people are fully vaccinated. In Houston County, Brianna Richardson, 13 WMAZ News. We also checked the latest numbers from Atrium, Navison and Piedmont, Macon. All three hospitals report their COVID cases are down by more than half over the past three weeks. The numbers also show that more than 90 percent of the patients in intensive care and on ventilators are not vaccinated.